Hey guys, Oddola here. Drone mapping is a rapidly expanding industry due to the improvements in drone technology and flight automation software. Drone mapping is the process of taking multiple pictures up and back over an area to generate aerial maps or 3D models, but it can be prohibitively expensive. So that's my goal for today, to show you how to get started with drone mapping for as little money as possible. The main expense when getting started with mapping is the actual drone. If you already have a DJI drone then this process is free, otherwise you need to invest some money in a decent drone, such as a Mavic Air or Mavic 2. Next you need some flight automation software, such as Drone Deploy, but after this service's free trial it can become very expensive, so I'll be using a free alternative called Drone Harmony. Keep in mind, if you have a Mavic Air 2 or Mavic Mini, you won't be able to use flight automation software, as the DJI Fly app used by these drones hasn't been opened up to developers to create custom apps. It is possible to fly the drone up and back over the area manually, but the results will be much less consistent and often will just return garbled data after processing. Next, you'll need some software to process the photos into maps and models. I use WebODM, an open source drone mapping program that stitches the photos into author mosaics and point clouds. The setup process isn't the easiest of things, so there is an automated installer you can purchase, but I should have a video up relatively soon explaining how to set up WebODM. Once all the software has been set up, go to the location you wish to map and turn on the controller and drone, in my case a Mavic Air. Open the Go4 app to ensure all the settings are correct and the compass and IMU are calibrated. Ensure the photo mode is set to auto to get the right exposure at a high shutter speed and check that no ND filters are fitted. Wait for GPS lock on the drone, then close the Go4 app completely. Open Drone Harmony and click on the shape with the plus icon, then select whether you want a polygon or a circle. Tap on the map to place points to create an outline of the area you wish to map. Once you've outlined this area, click the shape button again. The area should turn blue. Tap the plus icon on the bottom right to open the plan catalog, then go to mapping and select top down. This will bring up a menu asking you to select the liftoff and landing locations. Select the desired area, then go next and set landing to the same as liftoff. Next, a screen will appear where you will set the flight parameters. First is altitude. A general rule of thumb I find is to set the altitude to the height of the tallest object in the area plus 5 to 10 meters. Then go to overlap and set the side and forward overlap to at least 70%. The higher the overlap, the longer the mapping will take, but the higher quality the produced data will be. Lastly, set the camera profile of, to that of your drone in advanced settings, then click generate. Once the drone has connected, tap the play icon to launch the mission. In the next menu, change the settings to your preference, then go through the menus until you see the launch drone button. Click this and the drone will take off and run the mission. Once completed, remove the SD card and insert into the computer. Open WebODM and create a new project. Select all the JPEGs, then open the settings menu. Here, you'll want to change these settings. Enable Orthophoto PNG, enable DTM, enable DSM, and change GPS accuracy. I find for my Mavic Air, 0.3 produces the best results. Once completed, save the settings and click Review, then Run. This process can take anywhere from 20 minutes to a day or two, depending on the number of photos there are, so be prepared to wait. Once the processing has completed, you can view and download the assets from WebODM to your computer. Congratulations, you just mapped an area using a drone. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, see you all next time.